Welcome to Journals of the Classes! In this supplemental series, we will dive into each D&D class and their corresponding subclasses. This week's episode is... Everybody was Kung Fu fighting! <laughs> yeah! We're talking fighters, people. Woo! Alright. Some of these just write themselves, to be honest with you. Okay. <laughs> Fighters are masters of their weapons and armor. They are formidable with whatever they can obtain and are dangerous even with their fists. While often disparaged for being basic and boring. I mean, they're so basic. So basic. Uh, a well-rounded fighter can be just as dangerous, if not more so, than a wizard casting a fireball. 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 <laughs> Not to be confused with the scent of cinnamon. No. Our first subclass is Arcane Archer. These archers weave magic into every arrow loosed from their bow, infusing them with deadly power with a soft embrace of sleep. They protect the fringes of elven civilization with their cunning accuracy and ability to always know when someone somewhere is taking the halflings to Isengard. It's weird, man. It's weird. It's like, they just, they'll just stop and be like, they're taking the halflings to Isengard. It's weird. It's like, it's like their spidey sense. Yeah, it's, it's, it's their, it's their... Arcane archer sense. It's their archie sense. It's their... Archie. It's their archie It's their archie sense. sense. It's their archie sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Battlemaster! Hey! Not to be confused with that. Defunct 1990s television show. Uh, <laughs> Masters of all weapons, to these fighters, war is an academic pursuit, and warriors can learn just as much by studying battles of old as they can by sparring or learning the correct way to hold a greatsword. <laughs> I feel like this one is like bound to fail. Because you really do have to practice. Yeah. I mean, practicing is key. Yeah. It's like, it's what makes you a better swordsman, so. Yeah. You can't just read about, hey, this guy swung a sword. Yeah. You know? I, mean, that. I don't know. I guess it's a magical book. <laughs> Maybe. It's a magical it's a book. a magical book. It teaches all about how to do magical swording. <laughs> magical swording. <laughs> the next one is the Cavalier. Nobles that have adopted the honorable art of mounted combat are considered Cavaliers. While well, not knights in the traditional sense, these lancers excel at chivalry and are just as comfortable on the front lines of a battle as they are organizing a state temper. Turny knights. Yeah, they're turny knights. Turny knights. Mm-hmm. <sighs> turny knights. Damn turny knights. <laughs> Alright. Champion! Ooh! We are, are the, the champions, champions my, my friends. friends. Sorry, I went all share there. <laughs> Obsessed with physical perfection and mastery of their particular fighting style, these fighters are dangerous avatars of raw strength. Not to be confused with cook's strength. Um, they often train for years on end. Oh, wait. They often train for years on end. Duh. They train for years <laughs> on end just to master one style. And it may take a lifetime to master them all. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like this is like the beginning of the TV show Kung Fu. Because <laughs> it's like the, you know, <laughs> masters a particular style. And... <laughs> all right, whatever. Let's our next one that. is the Eldritch Knight. While most fighters laugh at the academic confidence of wizards and sorcerers, the Eldritch Knights adopt their ways as a means of supplementing their martial prowess. They focus on the schools of observation and evocation, being able to hit once with a scimitar and next with a fireball. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, that was good. good on that. Okay. Psy Warrior. <sighs> Warrior. Masters of the mental and the physical. These fighters use psychic powers to outwit and confuse their opponents. They have honed their minds to be able to read others. And yes. That includes 
when you're imagining them in their underwear. Or <laughs> naked. Or really anything. If you're imagining anything, they know. <laughs> they know. They know right now. They're really great at trivia games. <laughs> <laughs> As long as every, as long as one person there does actually know the answer. Yeah. <laughs> Our next is Dragon Knight. Sworn to protect the nobility, these fighters are formidable and graceful. They are viewed as envoys to the crown and expected to pretend like the king is looking over their shoulder at all times. I'm looking at you, Jamie Lannister. <laughs> looking at you. <laughs> oh yeah. Like, Eris really was, like, up his butt all the time. Yeah. He really was. Rune Knight. Ooh. Not to be confused with Stephen Grant, Mark Spector, or Jake Lockley. The Rune Knights are <laughs> fighters that have learned the ancient secrets of runes. Kind of in the title. Uh, <laughs> these, they use their arcane symbols to inflict extra damage and devastating blows to their enemies. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. All right. And our final subclass is Samurai. Oh. Adherence to a strict code, the Samurai is a fighter who has honed their very soul to be their sword, and their body is but an extension of their intentions. They also have a weird habit of inadvertently murdering entire clans and then writing a book about rings. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and that was Fighter. I have been Shadu. I have been Frey. And we will see you next time. See ya on the D&D &D Battlefront. See ya on the battle map. Bye. 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 Oh, <laughs> good